road trip in Belize with Miss Allison. Here we are. We're here. We're going to PG to see yep. my dad's side. My You're going to PG? Yes. <laughs> and hopefully we will get there in one piece and back. We just passed my old primary school that I went to when I lived in Belize. Then we headed for about just under four hours south of the country to Punta Gorda, Belize. And we traveled down the Hummingbird Highway which had such amazing beautiful views of the mountains, the scenery, it was just so beautiful. We passed several villages as we went down to see my grandfather, to his village, and we just had such a good time being able to connect with him again. Hey guys, so we have made it to my grandfather's village. This is where my dad is from. It was quite the adventure to come in here. It was really bad getting in here. And now we're walking for the rest of it because we literally couldn't drive anymore. We are done with our San Jose trip. We're all walking back now. After spending the first two days visiting my grandfather, we left and headed back to um, the village where we're staying and we made a few pit stops by taking some photos at Mayan World and then we headed to the capital to go have some lunch and visit the market, browse around, did a little bit of shopping, had some shaved ice which is really um, popular in Belize and actually really good so if you haven't tried it, definitely try it out. Then we made one final stop at Altun Ha and we went to go see some ancient Mayan pyramids. Hello guys, I know I haven't been like formally on here but we have made it to Altun Ha. This one here is one of the smaller ruins in Belize so I'm gonna take you guys around. We are now going to attempt to climb this ruin right here and get to the top like those people up there. Alright, here we go. We're gonna go up the stairs all the way to the top. We've made it to the top. This is another exit that you can go down. This is us in our luxury Airbnb. Oh my gosh. Yeah. We have our own room. We have our own fans. Here's my suite. Our living room. Some neat toys. That's just so good. Uh -huh. It's like all flaky and everything. Uh -huh. mm. Finally enjoying your meat pie. Yes. I am. Yummy. We are ready to go to Kikaku. Yes. We are boarding to our water taxi. Come right ahead. Place it on your neck. This is the boat that we just arrived on. It is approximately 30 US dollars to get a round trip ticket to Key Cocker. It's going to be a little more if you're headed to the other islands. But this is the first and closest islands. Just a 60 minute boat ride over and $30 round trip. We stayed at the Key Hotel, which is located directly across from the water taxi. This is going to be the room tour portion of this video. The rooms are very spacious, a very comfortable bed. There's a mini fridge, TV, a full bath with a door, which I appreciate the bathroom having a doors. I don't like when hotels don't have doors for their bathroom. But there was a different shower heads. You have a hair dryer, just little amenities that you can, you need, like toothbrush, toothpaste, like everything that you would need if you forgot 
definitely had AC, a full closet, um, slippers, such a beautiful hotel, a great view up top on the rooftop. There is no pool, but why do you need one when the beach is like five minutes away? But this is absolutely beautiful. I definitely recommend if you stay here, you will quite enjoy it. There is free breakfast included, but overall, we definitely enjoyed our stay here. We are finally here on the island, and we're gonna go look for dinner. We're gonna go to this place. We've been here before. The hotel we're staying at is right here called The Key Hotel. The beautiful outside view, right on the ocean. Here. Is dinner for tonight. These are beef tacos with a side of french fries. Mom got a grilled chicken brand with sweet potato fries and a side of coleslaw. Hey guys, it is currently almost 10 p.m. in Belize. I'm so exhausted. We have finally made it keep. Blah. We have finally made it to Key Cocker Belize. Tomorrow is my birthday, technically, in the United States. What time is it right now? Oh, it is officially my birthday in the United States, so happy birthday to me. But I still have another two hours until it's officially my birthday here in Belize. We had dinner earlier. We literally, like, it's been such a crazy day. It's been crazy the last couple days. So this is a nice, like, reset for us. So we saw my grandpa the last two days. So that was, like, one of the first things we wanted to do. And so we did. So I'm super, like, grateful that I got to see him. I do have a pretty good view. I don't know if you guys can see. People are out there. now about to be 7 30 and we just got ready we're going to go out to dinner to celebrate my birthday i'm wearing this dress here i actually got this from abercrombie this is the outfit of the night we're all videoing my mom eating the fish brain <laughs> I've already packed everything. I'm gonna go and head downstairs so I can turn in my key. Um, this is the last view of the room. It was really, really a decent sized room. I really like the spaciousness and it had the exposed closet and the really nice bathroom. So it was definitely a place I would recommend. They are very brand new, so there are some little quirks that you have to deal with, but overall, I think it was a really lovely stay.
have arrived back to Louise City. Let's go to dinner. Say hi, Aiden. <laughs> coming to this place called Map Street Marketplace for breakfast or should I say lunch? I'm with my aunt and let's go check it out. One of my favorite things to have is sour sap. There's a sour sap drink that I'm gonna try. Mm, it's really good. You guys come here to check this out. We are here to go cave tubing and zip lining and this is a little entrance area before we actually get going. All the way to cave tubing. We just cross the water. We're gonna go up through this one. Up through the mountains. It's not the last river crossing. I think you're cubing on that I'm Our inner tubes, and my cousins, Gali, my aunt, and we are ready to go downstream. This is my tour guide. His name is Manuel Vivas. If yep. you come to, what's the tour name again? Cape Tubing. Cape Tubing, please. Yep. And check him out. Wow. Now going along with the Cape Tubing zip lining. You ready for the hike? And you can Yay! I fucked oh, one! Hold it! 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 Our 
zip lining tour. It was a lot of fun. There's this little um, drawbridge here that you can go and climb and walk on for pictures and such. Now well, we have finished our adventure for today. Cave tubing, zip lining, super fun. Which way do we go? Today is Thursday, August 25th. We are at the Sleeping Giant Rainforest Lodge and we're going to do one of the trails so we can go and see view of the sleeping giant so I'm gonna take you guys along here with the fam and we're gonna go for the hike going for the treehouse trail We are what I hope to be the halfway point. It is quite the trek. If you're coming here, we're prepared to, do, I would say, go to the gym, get prepped, do a lot of cardio <laughs> because it's a workout. You have not eaten the right thing. You've got hurt. Yes, don't eat anything you heavy because it's a trek. <laughs> I think we're almost there. This trail is quite the trail. We're here. We made it. Just made it 310 feet up to this little canopy treehouse to see the mountain view. Dying. Halfway down oh, the trail. It's very slippery. So if you come on like a warmer day where it didn't rain, I think it'll be fine. Um, it's a little bit more slippery after it rains. But at the same time, it's nice because it's not super, super hot. But this is quite the trail. Are you ready for the workout? The view was, would you say it's worth it, the view? Yeah, there's two more trails, but yeah, <laughs> it's but the view is nice. Yeah, the view is it's better than the picture. Oh, gosh, yeah. A monkey, a monkey, a monkey. Oh my God, I missed it. Up there, see there. 
나는 무서워도 돼. 고백선에 어때 또? 아, something else that too. One small one. Oh yes, see that? That one be the one. Let's go before it comes to. We made it, guys. We made it from the top to the bottom. We saw monkeys. We saw hawks. We had the awesome view, and I'm drenched in sweat. But it was, it was a great experience. I say, if you are curious, definitely do it before you're ready to trek uphill. <laughs> my aunt, my two aunts, and they're both picking up what's called, this fruit here is called Krabu. It's a Krabu tree. This is what it's called. They sell these everywhere. I'm gonna try one of this Krabu. It's been a long time since I've had one. Mm. Miss, I drop, I drop like 40, you know, and I'm gonna show you another one. Ask me how the egg was. That's good. Do I eat the skin? Why? This is the restaurant there is a pizza place if you want to have pizza upstairs to do lunch i'm gonna try what's called a sour sap cheesecake never had it but sour sap is one of my favorite things here you can taste the cheesecake. It kind of tastes to me like key lime pie a little bit. Very rich, very creamy. Doesn't taste overly sweet. Really good. I recommend trying sour sap cheesecake. Just finished our lunch. Now we're heading back to home. I think we're going to the zoo, right? Going to the zoo. And I don't know where we're going. This is not where we're going. You know what? to the police zoo. Turn right here. Teamwork make the dream work. Oh, oh look at this! Is it a pier? Here we have the tapir. This is the national animal of Belize, one of the animals. And this is a huge, what is this called? Garobo. Garobo. That's the male iguana. A male iguana. There's other ones here. Come here. Hey, stop eating. Look at me. Hey. Yeah. Mess. But we're headed to the airport in a couple of minutes. But this is it. And goodbye, Belize. Goodbye, Belize. Almost home. Oh, no. yeah.